Hi, folks. I'm with uh, one of our long-term members, Jasmine Dwyer, from Adore in Colac in Victoria. Jasmine, how long have you been with us? Uh, oh, gee, probably, I would say, eight years, I think. Wow. Fantastic. How's the business grown since? Really then? good. Oh, a lot. Yeah, I had a business partner and I've had the business myself for two years. Um, or nearly three, actually. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's grown, yeah, tenfold. We've just built you a new website, um, which, you know, really looks good. And, and, and uh, that's bringing in a lot of business. You're top ranked on Google, but that's not what we're here yeah. to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is your appointment of a full-time receptionist, which mm. is the living daylights out of so many salon owners. But tell us what difference that's made to your business since you've had that full-time receptionist. Well, it's massive. As I just said to Greg before he wanted to record me, um, it's huge. It's, yeah, we have, we just don't miss calls anymore. I got a new phone. I was saying I got a new phone and it tracked all the missed calls. and. It was actually really scary how many people we would miss. Um, and yeah, I was in the room half an hour and I was missing like 27 calls on the phone. It got to, it was just crazy. So it was, and it was just very stressful as well, trying to manage the salon and do everything the right way, rebookings, so do your retail and not stress that you're running late for your next client, which we never like to do. Then you've got cleaning, washing, all the front of desk stuff. It's The list goes on and on. And all people would know that that have a salon. It is so busy. And you can't keep up. So, yeah, I just made a decision. That's it. I'm putting someone on. And you make it work. You make it work. And she, as I said, agree, she's an old client of mine. So I just sort of went on a whim, no experience at all with reception. But she was an absolute, she's an absolutely gorgeous person, personality that does it all. So trained her up and, yeah. And I'm not even using her to her full potential yet. She's, I've given her a chance to get familiar with the job. <laughs> And, and what difference has it made to your actual sales revenue? Oh, well, oh, geez, I probably need to track it properly, but um, definitely in her sales, she, she pays for herself and some just in retail sales through walk-ins every week just about. And purely just... The, yeah, the retail in general will go up because she will talk to people about the product. So our skincare line she's used for many years now. So she loves it. So she talks about it, raves about it. And then our bookings, we get extra bookings through her because she'll be like, you've got to try out a facial. So she'll, she'll end up turning waxing clients into facial clients. So I just love her. She's... She's worth her weight in gold. And like I said, she's not even used to her full potential yet. So, so oh, worth definitely cool. worth it. It's worth a, worth a full-time reception. Yeah, look, absolutely. Look. I, did, I just didn't bother with a casual or anything. I just knew. I just knew after that much stress I needed to put someone on full-time and I didn't care what it cost me. So just do it. Just do it. So yeah, it's worth it. You were pretty much a one-person operation eight years ago when you started with us, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. Myself and another girl had we started up the salon, and yeah, then we yeah we had we put you know another girl on, and then um, yeah, sort of went from that to the three of us, maybe four people. But yeah, I've got six girls on now. Um, that's including my re reception plus myself. Well, wow, that's so, a fantastic mm, story. Thanks very much for that. And I hope that's this okay. more people to actually go down the path of getting a full-time receptionist. Yeah. As you found, she's actually the most valuable person in the... In very the much. Absolutely. And I'm nowhere near as stressed and I can have some time off. And I've, I actually just had January off out of the salon. Fantastic. And, yeah, and I was able to know that she was there and looked after 
you know, the front of the house because that's a big, that was a big stress to me and I'm sure many other girls would agree um, is that you never want to leave your staff by themselves trying because you know how much there is to do. It's too stressful to, to run it all. So I would just never have proper holidays. And now, now look out, I'll be off all the time. <laughs> <laughs>